Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me for today's daily oracle and tarot card reading. And this reading is going to be for Wednesday, November the 18th. We're using the Tau Oracle deck all week, one of my favorite decks. And let's get started with the reading. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. Okay, and we have Keeping Still, card number 52. Okay, and we have card number 12, Stand Still. I see a theme here taking form. Okay. And we have repeat card, completion, card number 63. Okay, something needs to be emphasized. Somebody's not believing in themselves like they should. Okay, keeping still. Beautiful, beautiful card. Like I said, the whole deck of cards is, is absolutely amazing. And this card reads, meditation, self-renewal, Composure, detachment, self-acceptance, equanimity, and serenity. Yes, this kind of reminds me of the rejuvenation that we just had. And this is so important to be grounded. That's what I get from spirit with this card, to be grounded. Don't try to take on too much if you're making changes in your life. Like I said, just baby steps will add up to a lot by the end of the week. Make sure that you are taking timeouts for yourself, doing the deep breathing exercises when you feel things are starting to get a little anxious. Okay, maybe going outside for a walk, getting in touch with nature, even if it's on your lunch break or maybe just a regular five or 10 minute break. Um, this card here is just really a self renewal, you know, like having a whole new perspective on life and self acceptance, yes. Self-love is so necessary and not in an egotistical or narcissistic way. I mean, loving yourself enough to know that you deserve better and that you are truly worth it. With self-love, you could accomplish so much in your life, but if you're not accepting of yourself, okay, or you feel like you're not good enough or you could never do this or that, it's, it's a defeatist mentality that's going to keep you down. It's going to keep you right where you're at right now. It's not going to allow you to blossom or become the authentic self that you're meant to be. Uh, this card here, self-renewal, renewal, like the beginning of something, beginning a new life, beginning a new relationship, career, something new. And serenity, yes, it is so important to have calmness and peacefulness in your life. Like I've always said in these videos, I've had to remove a lot of people, places, and things in my life that nearly destroyed my health. Uh, we get so wrapped up in the negativity of the world, of society, the toxic negative people that we encounter. We don't have to deal with them. You choose who you wanna be, and you choose who you wanna be around. You want to continue being around negative, toxic people and environments? That's exactly what you're going to think of life. You're going to think it's all bad, it's all negative, it can't work out. But when you change that and you surround yourself with people that are like-minded, people that are positive, people that are doing something about their life instead of just sitting back and being scared and afraid that things might not work out, what if they do work out? You're going to kick yourself for not beginning something sooner. And this card to me with the meditation, I mean, it really all begins with that. Because you can't make clear-minded decisions if you're in a hurry all the time and you're all worked up and anxious and fighting and arguing and being around people that are complaining. You need some quiet time. Making meditation a daily thing may not be possible for everyone. But just try it. Try it a few times a week. Maybe even start out once a week. Maybe take a, a Sunday morning to sit and meditate. 
And as soon as you do that, you're going to be addicted to it. You're going to want to find time to do it. And then the next card is Stand Still, another stillness card. Okay, stillness, peace, quiet, tranquility, serenity, meditation, grounding. The stillness, the stillness of this card is, it's a very beautiful card. It's snowing, and as you know, I love the snow. I'm definitely a snow bunny, although I don't ski. <laughs> I love being outside in the snow. And the flurry is coming down on this card. It's like such a calmness. And you have two people standing here on either side of the tree. One has their back turned. And the other one is kind of feeling a little confused. Okay, this may represent someone maybe in your life right now where you feel like they've turned their back on you and you're not sure how to approach them. Because this person has their arms folded. And body language tells a lot about people. When you have your arms folded like that, you know, you're, they're like this. You know, you're not listening to anyone. You don't want to hear anything. That's a very aggressive stance. And this other person over here, they're kind of like looking down. Not sure what to do. Not sure what to say. Maybe you need to give, give that person some space. If this is a person in your life that is, you know, kind of stubborn right now, maybe just feels hurt. The card says alienation, a stalemate. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what called out to me when I looked at this. They're not getting anywhere. One is definitely not willing to listen, and the other one is kind of maybe worn out trying to explain themselves. And it's a stagnation, withholding, grinding to a halt, insensitivity, mistrust. Yeah. This person feels like they were wronged, okay? And they're not trusting. They're not trusting anyone right now. I just had a, a viewer comment about one of my uh, monthly videos where they had a falling out with someone who was very close to them. And this person was, the person that they had a falling out with was not wanting to talk to them, was completely shutting them out, and that person's astrological sign that was shutting them out was the type of personality that will not be forced into anything, will not be, you know, budging anytime soon because they're, that's just their personality, that they think things through. They, you know, process things a little bit more slowly and carefully. And I told that viewer, this person needs some space. And they said, yeah, that the person did, actually the viewer said that the person told me that they needed their space. And I said, well, then you give them just that. And I think that's maybe what this card is saying is right now you're at a stalemate, a standstill. You don't know what to do. And when you don't know what to do about the situation, don't do anything. Pause. Okay. Let things cool down. Because there's some people out there that if you force the issue, it's just going to make it worse. We all take care of things in different ways. Okay. I, when there's a problem, I want to roll my sleeves up and I want to get right down to the business. I want to discuss it. I want to straighten it out right here and now. And a lot of people don't operate that way. So if you have someone in your life right now that is, you know, kind of feeling like they're closing you out and alienating you, Give them a little cooling off period because when emotions are running high, people will say things that they don't mean. And that's only going to add to the matter. And then this last card, completion. Okay. And with the completion card, we just had it. This is a sign of victory. Okay. And this is telling me that, you know, along with this card, okay, things will work out. You may be at a stalemate right now. You may feel discouraged and not know what to say or do. You could be either of the people on this card. You could be the one that was hurt, or you could be the one that hurt someone and maybe doesn't know what to do because they're shutting you out. Things will work out. Just let it go for now. Let it calm down. Put it on the back burner. Don't force the issues. And by doing that, it will be successful, okay? But if you force the issue, it's not going to make it easy. Um, 
Yeah, very interesting. Sit deep in meditation. Maybe think about what's going on, what your current dilemma or situation is. Allow the person some time and space. And allow yourself some time and space. And it's going to work out. Whatever this is right now, it's going to work out. We got to take some quiet time to reflect. If you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel.